I'm going to issue this one down in there, this one, those two, then this one I'm going to issue to you see the little ridge. And, and I'm not sure what will happen with that. It's, it's fairly tight, so a fluid might just go through it. But you can see the little uh, white uh, tears on it, so that is an indication that it's not as pure as what the flint did. Okay, then, then here we got a stack, and I, you can see my mark. So we'll try to get that out too when we're at it. Okay, now I'll issue those couple. Might try another one along the side. more or less clean up. Okay, now I'm going to issue this one and that one. And you can see why I did that because it leaves a little bit of a ridge coming up through there. And if I do this one, then you'll see where that ridge will guide the channel float. And also on this side, I want to flute take these out too. While we're at it, I think those were the two that I was referring to, but I did the other one. So get these. They run in, this one run past, but they, they keep giving you that ridge. Okay, now I want to see what I can do with this mess here. There's a open fossil sitting in there, and that's why these flakes do not want to run. It is blocking all that. So you just have to, the only way to get around it is just prepare your platform even better. So that's what we're going to work on. And it may mean coming in beyond there, which is plenty wide anyhow. So we may do that because close. You can see the center line. I got some up here to take off and some down here. So I'm going to take a couple off here, just pressure flakes, because it's already low enough there. So I want to take it that out so it, these release a little bit easier. Anything to help the Difficult ones release better is may come back and okay. <laughs> 
a little braided and go for it. smaller billet on, on these up here. Okay, now we're down here to the, where it is, remember the fossil. So I'm going to go right in there in the middle of it. You can see there's still a little evidence of it, but these other ones, I might be better off just to pressure them. And it also, there's still a little of that stack in there, but not much. But it was right here where that I was concerned of. And you can see I, I did a real high hit because of the big bulb. And the abrasion I put on it. So now when you look down through there, 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 those, those are just good issues. or something in there, but that's okay. some more issues. it up a little bit because this is the base and the tip getting them li lined up keeping them lined up okay now when you look across there there's like a ridge coming up here and it might be a little lower here which is good because the flute should come here if we ever get there This would be just kind of touch up mainly, get some of this stuff out of here where with the pressure flaker. I don't want to do more to this side than I have to because of how hard it is to flake. Ooh, 
like this flake here I only wanted to go about that far just to clean it up into there so I get a real low grab all it did was wipe that out of there a little bit so it because I, I want to align the pattern Billet these here, couple. And the reason I want to billet these is instead of just pressuring them, maybe it'll come in here lower where it'll stop the flute from going beyond. Hopefully that. If I need that, if I can hit it, so it's better to miss it than to over hit it. So, okay, what it did, there's like a little knobby there. You, it's an open fossil or something that stop the flake from traveling on through there so the other thing is to just issue it then it will travel through there I'm going to take the flakes off around it so that it releases a little easier with the issue Unless it just went alongside of it. It's getting closer. It still needs a little work because what I need to do is when you look at that, it needs some flakes going that way. <coughs> <coughs> 